Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Just Voicing It Publications. I said I was going to do a backup video. I didn't know that I was going to do it this soon, okay? I'm doing this backup video to my very first video on the whole Nature Boy carbonation situation. I am not camming up today because I am highly upset regarding this situation. I have time today to talk about it. I'm not going to be able to talk about it throughout the week because Adrian will be returning back home tomorrow. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this video. This is going to be probably a long video because I'm going to talk about it and get it off my chest. It's a lot, guys. I started a petition yesterday on change.org Okay, because I'm now finding out about the situation and I want to be able to help in some type of way by spreading the awareness. <laughs> Hush, Nyla. Um, this is an unedited video. Okay, I'm, un I'm not editing this video. I, as soon as I finish recording it, I am going to upload it and share it. Please. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Please give me a like or dislike if you like this video after listening to it. Stick around because there's a lot of information that you guys need to be aware of. I'm not understanding how people are just turning their backs and closing their eyes and their ears to what is going on in our country right now. Okay? In our communities. Uh, comment below if you have a question, okay, and share the video, share this video. When I post in caps, share, 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 it is for a reason. This is an emergency broadcast awareness video. I don't know how else to say it. <sighs> okay, I did a video yesterday. In regards to this Nature Boy carbonation situation. The reason why I did the video is because it is an awareness situation. This gentleman, Eligio Bishop, is roaming around the internet on social media. The same platforms that you and I use. The same platforms that our family members use. The same platform that our friends and loved ones use. The same platform that our younger generation are now jumping on and using. Especially today where a lot of people are still at home on lockdown. This is why this is an emergency awareness video. And I'm going to put that in my title. You guys are just sitting there and not really paying attention to what is going on around you and the fucked up thing. I excuse my language, but I'm going to be vulgar in this video. The fucked up thing about it is that if it does not happen to you or your family member, you are not concerned. That is a huge problem right now in our country. That people are not concerned unless it involves their circle, their triangle, their square of people. This gentleman, Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. the Messiah to these people, is not only recruiting our young people into this cult, but he is abusing them in every form of fa and fashion and infecting them with sexually transmitted diseases. Not only that, babies... And people have already already been reported dead in these foreign countries behind this gentleman. What I don't understand is why the FBI, the CDC, the United States government, the Supreme Court or higher, the United States president of our, uh, the president of the United States of our, Joe Biden... Kamala Harris, 
Okay, I'm not understanding what these people are doing about the situation because it is infecting our communities. Now, the reason why I am concerned and I am doing these awareness videos is because, like I said, these people are on the social media platforms that we use today to infect people with mind manipulation, mumbo jumbo, made up knowledge, okay? Not only that, they are also spreading STDs within the communities. I talked about it in the last video. <laughs> Go sit down. Sorry, guys. Unedited. They barking at the dogs outside that are barking. Now, the reason why I chose to do this backup video so early, okay, is because last night, I'm in the house. I've already done everything I'm supposed to do, whatever, you know, next week and the following week, I'm in moving mode and doing a bunch of stuff, right? So I'm not going to be able to have time to do this. Last night, I'm in my home. I'm bored. I'm like, you know what? Let me jump on this Beagle Live and try to get some information for my backup videos. I start roaming through the different channels. I only jump on the panels where I see that there is this whole Carbonation Nation Boy topic being talked about. Mind you, I did not jump into any of the panels. I went in and I was hidden in the bushes. I'm using another tuber's term, but yeah, I was hiding in the bushes, okay? Because I wanted to see what was being talked about and how these people were handling this situation. Now, I'm not going to say that there are not a lot of conscious-minded people out there that know about the situation and are spreading awareness in their own form of fashion. However, there are people that have started platforms surrounding this issue, okay? But my question is, is there a good motive intended by doing this? Or is there a financial motive behind this situation? Because we talked about it in the last video, this man is lying in his pockets, Supposedly, he's making 20000 a month on Bego Live through contributions and donations. People, wake the fuck up. You guys are glorifying and contributing to this shit that I'm seeing on social media. I'm disheartened by it because... We're going to jump right into it. I found out a little bit more about Legio Bishop. Okay? So, the reason why I jumped into this whole situation, right, with my first video is because someone tagged me in the video of the young lady that I showed on my video being abused by this gentleman. Okay? It was just a tag. Put my name in the comments. So, I go to this video. When I clicked on the video... I see what's going on, okay? And then after I clicked out of that video, it gave me suggestions to watch other videos. So now I'm watching these other videos and I'm like, oh my God, the more and more I watched, the more horrified I was to learn a lot of this information. Because I'm sitting here like, okay, this gentleman... Here we go into the background. He was born in Manhattan, in New York City, okay? But every time he got arrested, he used an Atlanta address. So I'm not sure if he was born in Manhattan and was raised there for a little bit and then moved to Atlanta. But he is from New York City. So it hits close to home to me. Okay, this is my home. I grew, I was born and raised in New York. So, it is 
there I have found the proof that stating that he was a gay male stripper in Atlanta before he even started the cults. And we're going to get into the cults because there were two cults that were started. And this is where, this is why I, there's a huge conspiracy here, guys. There's a huge conspiracy here and I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about why I say, use the word conspiracy. This man was a gay male stripper in Atlanta. Okay. And he started, that's how he started his career, you know, um, in prostitution and, 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 and stripping and all this stuff for gay males. Now, yes, this man, when he first came out, he came out with a polygamous community. Okay. Saying that this is a polygamous community. This is what we do, whatever, blah, blah. He started preaching this false knowledge to people. Okay. That he made, he made up, he created mumbo jumbo. He started a fruitation of, um, a fruitarian diet, vegan and fruitarian diet that he has these people do, um, saying that if they are on this fruitarian and, um, vegan diet, that they will heal themselves from whatever chemicals, toxins, diseases that they have in their bodies. Not only in their bodies, in their minds. Because he says that people are infected with the white man's knowledge. That's what he says, right? Okay. Now, the first cult that he started was called Melanin Nation. All right? Melanin Nation. And we're going to go, I believe it's this one here. Okay, yes. This was the first cult, okay? And I had, like I said, I had to dive deep into this because I'm like, where did this guy come from? How did this guy get a platform? So you guys looking at this, you know what it reminds me of? The Survivor series on television where the people go out into the jungle and whoever survives the last wins the money, right? Okay. This is far from it, but just looking at these people, that's what it looks like to me. So this guy is feeding these people with his knowledge, okay? And all types of people from all walks of life are joining this man. And they're going to all these foreign countries. As you can see, there are a bunch of Caucasian men standing right behind him in this Melanation cult. In this video, he talks about how his cult is not racist, that they're not focused on race, that all men, all species should live together as one. And that is great and dandy. Yeah, you're building a utopia for all people, right? They want to get away from crises and domestic situations and just the hell of reality, okay? So you're giving them this false illusion of paradise. Because that's what this is. These people go out to these jungles with this gentleman. Live in tents. Follow his teachings. Eat his fruitarian diet. Okay. They all sleep with each other. Remember I told you this is a humanitarian issue. Please listen guys. Wake the fuck up. If it don't happen to you and your own family member. You're not concerned. You're not concerned. This is a humanitarian issue. Okay? So, now what ends up happening, okay, as I go dive deeper into it, a lot of these people's family members started calling the local authorities. Started calling the U.S. Embassy. Probably even called the United States president at the time. And was like, listen, my children are in this cult and we need them out of it. So now, one by one, these white people that are standing behind him, these white guys, Caucasian men, start dropping like flies. Now, he's only left with the African American population, the colored population. Now, I only 
brought I am not gonna I'm not gonna go into the video. I only brought this up because I'm trying to make a point here. The government got involved, right? When these people's families started speaking out, there's a CNBC right here. We're gonna go into it, okay? Interview that uh a Canadian reporter did on this story. And I'm not sure if she was the last white member. Okay, I'm not sure if she was the last white member. We're going to go into that. But you can see there's a lot of white men here. There was white women there at the time. This man had a whole tribe of people. The government got involved when these Caucasian people, the family members, started making phone calls. They started calling people, writing letters, showing concern for their family member. Like, no, this is not good. I don't know... I, I try to dive into it and find out what happened to these people. And I'm going to probably look into that some more. What happened to the people that were in that cult? Where did they go? How are they living their lives now? Are they talking about their experiences? Were their experiences bad or good? Do they have any STDs? Okay. Because this man could have went back to Michigan somewhere or Nebraska and probably already slept with five women since 2017, okay? And them five women probably already done slept with ten, you, you, you got five women, right? Say two to three men per woman, okay? Now you do the calculation. Then them men slept with women. Then them women slept with men or whatever, or women. Do you see where I'm going with this, people? This man could have probably ended up in New York. Somewhere. Start sleeping with women. The women start sleeping with other men. Okay. Kissing. Listen. When I say this is a humanitarian issue. This is a humanitarian issue. Now before we jump into. The real. Root of the problem. Okay. Because there's a huge root of this problem. Right now going on. On Beagle Live. And Facebook. And Instagram. Regarding this. And YouTube. Regarding this gentleman. is a huge foolery. This woman. Was recorded. This is CBC Radio Canada. A public broadcast service. Whatever. Her name was Kayla Reed, and I'm going to dive into her when I start looking into these other white men, okay? Her family was, boy, they was going in. They probably even threatened the gentleman, because in this interview, she talks about she don't want nobody hurt, so she's going to go back home, because that's what she was saying. Now, I don't know if this was the last white member that he had in his cult. But she is saying in this interview that she's going to go home she, and you guys can look it up. C, CBCNL, Newfoundland and Labrador, whatever. Okay. This was in Costa Rica. The location is unknown because this is one thing about this gentleman. This is how slick and I said the way he move and groove is because you people are lining his pockets every day this man is making money off of these people's lives so the lady I guess she went back home I don't mean to talk about race in this situation okay but even though we heard right in the last video the the, gen the young lady's mother talking about how the FBI is involved and they're going to start putting uh, conspiracy cases, I mean, not conspiracy, accomplice cases against the members if they don't come up and speak up. Why is this not on the news? Why is this not on CNN? Mainstream media ain't telling you about this. And this, like I said, is a huge humanitarian issue. We're not going to go into the video. We already know that this woman was probably one of the last white members. And she finally went home. She talked about how she wanted to be there. 
how she wanted to, to be living free and all that behind this man's teachings and all of that, that he was not abusing her and all this other stuff. She said, I'm going home because I don't want nobody here hurt. I don't know what she meant by that. So maybe somebody was threatening this gentleman and the people there if the white people did not leave the camp. I ain't say nothing about the color. Okay? We're going to jump out of that because we're not going into the video. If you want to watch the video, Kayla Reed, you can look her up. Now, I formulated a change.org petition yesterday. Right when I did my video, I went ahead and I did the change.org petition because I wanted it to go together. When I was looking on change.org, all I saw this, was this one petition. Ban Nature Boy and Carbonation Coal off of social media permanently. Hey, that sound cool and dandy, right? I'm not sure when this st was started. It says, two years ago. Two years ago, okay? And it still has not met the goal of 1,500 signatures signed. I signed it. I signed it. I even put $3 on it. Okay, but this was three years ago and who they tagged in there was United Nations Security Council. And I don't know who this other one is. I don't want to click on it when I and it says unknown source. If you really want to help. Okay. Even though this is good, but let's talk about it. Okay, because this could be the same gentleman. And this is why I say. You got people online doing things and lining this man's pocket. Because it could still be one of his, his members or him himself. This is how these people think, okay? To get donations to line the pockets. Like I said, I put $3 on it, right? Only $3. $3 ain't going to kill me. But just to try to get the signatures on it. Because we want to see where this is going to go, right? Mine is... Tag. I, I sent this petition to the CDC. I tagged it. If you go in my petition, you will see the CDC, the FBI, the United States President, and the Supreme Court are all tagged in this um in in, in my change.org petition. I need you guys to go head over there and sign it or just click on the link below this video. I put it in the link below. Please go and sign that petition. Okay, now it's saying here, this racial code is making threats against the United States or as they call Babylon through social media. Now, if this is not a war crime, I don't know what is. Their leader is a man named Nature Boy, a.k.a. Legio Bishop, is spiritual terrorist against the United States of America. He uses spirituality as a way to scam people out of money from the United States. Threatening the United States with world war on social media, knowingly spreading diseases to young people who come to his cult. Now, this is what I'm not even going to read any further. You guys come here. You could Google it. Ban Nature Boy and Carver on the change.org website. Okay. Now. My thing is. If. We talked about it yesterday. The mainstream media know who this man is. If this lady in that video said that her daughter, the FBI, have already been involved. Why? This man is not off the streets. So now I start thinking about it in a different perspective. The government went... When crack, okay, came onto the scene, cocaine, crack, all of those drugs was coming from overseas, okay? And if you dive into the whole crack epidemic and, you know, whole revolution of drugs, you will know that the government funded most of this crime, most of this, uh, we still have big pharma who is the major drug dealers in the industry, okay? Feeding people drugs and, 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 and hurting their bodies with these drugs, you know, opioids and all type of stuff. But if you know that the crack epidemic 
started with the government funding this to fund a war overseas, then I do not put it past the government to send in a covert agent, okay? Because now this is what I'm. This is what it's looking like to me, and I'm gonna go into it, and, and I'm explaining why, and I hope that people are paying attention. Right now, we are in a huge racial divide within the country. Donald Trump, okay, not to bring a whole bunch of politics into it, but Donald Trump is seen right now to a lot of people as the new wave Hitler, where he puts people in racial boxes, right? You see what happened at the Capitol and how, you know, certain um, ethnicities or origins have more power, superior power to do more things than the other. I will not put it past the government to plan a form of genocide against the American people, okay, to um, bring down the population. And what I mean by that is there are a lot of people in this country. There are a lot of people right now still having babies after babies after babies. So you're increasing the population of our country, right? In China, you, you know, I, I don't know how the laws are now, but I know in China, they were strict about having one child because they didn't want a huge increase in population. Now with the COVID-19 epidemic going around, okay, and all this money, that's, and, and this is why I say this is all a commodity, all this money that needs to be funneled to the American people so that the American people can sustain an, a, a country, right? They, they, they keep saying, oh, we don't have no money to send to these people, you know, it's going to hurt our economy and all this and this and that. Now, you got this gentleman here, okay, who I was trying to find a video. Lord, I'm going to try to find this video. Supposedly this gentleman, Nature Boy, okay, this gentleman, Nature Boy. Before he started the cult, oh my God, this shit go deep. Before he started the very first cult, this gentleman that named Nature Boy supposedly met a doctor, a fake doctor is what people are claiming that he is, and was recorded uh, that he went to the doctor for some type of something, and reportedly he's recorded. Uh, having sex with the gentleman and the gentleman doing things to his anal cavity and the gentleman injecting him with something. There is talks and speculation that what he was injected with is the de deadly strain that he's supposed to be infecting other people with. Remember I'm telling you guys the slow slow decline in population, right? Which is a form of genocide. Please wake up, people. This is a form of genocide. The, they probably saying, oh, they're not killing each other fast enough. Now we got quarantine lockdown, right? People are in their homes, so I'm pretty sure there was like a, 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 some slight decline in crime. So now they got this gentleman here that is starting his whole social media platform and recruiting people with this false knowledge that he created, with this diet, this fruitarian diet that he created. God knows what he's putting into that food. And he's sleeping with these people and having them drink his semen 
stating that this is a form, a ritual to get closer to him spiritually. And these people are buying into it. Please, guys, it, it, it may not be happening to you, but it's happening around you and you are asleep. I have no other way to share this knowledge than onto my various platforms and, and try to raise awareness and try to see if this man can really be brought down. Because if he is not brought down within the next year, right, and, and God knows how many more people are going to be falling into this situation and God knows how many more people are going to die and be infected behind this deadly disease. Lord, that means there's a conspiracy here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if people are not acknowledging the fact that this man is not only getting rich and profiting, profiting off of these people's lives, there has to be some higher authority here. It's somebody above him, and we're not talking about spiritual, okay? But it's somebody above him that's making these moves. It has to be. Because this is a African American gentleman, right? Lord knows that for the shit that he's doing, him himself would have already been under the jail. As a black male. So what? What I don't understand is what makes this gentleman exempt from war crimes? Do you guys not understand that spreading diseases is a war crime? It's a terroristic act. You're killing people. You are killing people. So why are not why are people not really diving and talking about this? Now, <clears throat> there's a gentleman I'm going to bring this up now. Let me go jump off of this. This gentleman, Ryan LaForge, the reason why I'm talking about it is because in this interview, okay, because I wanted to know who he was. This is the picture he uses on Beagle Live. And I wanted to know who this gentleman was because, like I said, yesterday I had time. I had the time. Listen, if I'm loud, turn the volume down on your um, phone or your, your tablet or your computer. If I'm not as loud, please turn me up because I'm, I'm sitting back from my desk right now. This gentleman here, Ryan LaForge, a.k.a. Ryan DX, okay? I have not found too much on him. And I wanted to find out about this background that this man has in a cult. Because he talks about it. I was yesterday I had the time and I jumped on Beagle Live. Now, mind you, I did not go and sit in anybody's panel. I did not do any of that. I did ask a try to ask a question, and we're gonna jump into that into some in somebody's panel, and I got blocked. This is how serious this is. Okay. Now this gentleman was talking on a panel with Tokyo Tony and Jaguar Wright, who I talked about in my last video. This is important. I talked about how these people with large platforms, okay, are not utilizing them correctly if they are so concerned about this situation. Why are you not using your platform correctly? You have huge platforms. Not only that, you have outlets that will sit down and listen to you. Okay? This is a huge story. People around the world need to know what's going on because it's happening in their backyard. Okay? It could be their kids. It could be their sister. It could be their brother. So... He starts talking about how he got interested in the Nature Boy situation because someone reached out to him 
Um, being the fact that he is an, uh, uh, he was raised in, in a cult because supposedly later on he found out his father was a true cult leader. Um, I'm not sure too deep into that, that information, but that he left or whatever. And that, um, later on in life, he started doing his own form of vigilante. Okay. And. When he started doing his own form of vigilante work, what he was doing was he was going online and posing as a young chayu and exposing online predators, online pedophiles, okay? And then going to meet up with these people and exposing them on Facebook and YouTube. And in many instances, he was arrested there were some instances where people were hurt. And there was even one story of a gentleman dying behind this man's actions. Now, mind you, listen, I'm not with the pedophilia shit, okay? These people are fucked up people in the brain to be roaming the streets, grabbing victim after victim and doing it. I know what it's like to be a victim at a very young age when it comes to sexual abuse, okay? So, this gentleman took it upon himself to start a YouTube channel called Surrey Creepy Creep Catchers, right? And he started recruiting people to be in this group with him to do this online work and meet up with these people and film them and find out why they were doing this stuff online. But it became dangerous. Okay, so he fell back. He talks about it in this interview. Okay, how because it started becoming dangerous and now he's getting lawsuits and, and people are saying that he was defaming their character, whatever. I don't know what the situation was because I didn't dive too deep into it. But the reason why I'm talking about this guy is because people are stating that he's doing this whole nature boy um, involvement that he's he's involving himself in this whole nature boy situation because he's using it for his own personal motivations his own personal gain now in this interview with this gentleman um he talks about how he tried to set up a news media outlet probably cnbc or whatever because he's also in canada british columbia or whatever to talk to an ex-carbon member about their experiences so that they can try to build a criminal indictment against this guy, Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy. Supposedly, I don't know how true any of this is that this man is saying, but supposedly, when he set the interview up and tried to reach out to the ex-carbon member that she had backed out, she did not want to do the interview. I do not know what the situation was, but what I do not understand is why are you going about it in this way? Going on these panels. Now, he's kissing Tokyo Tony's ass on the panel. I'm going to go to the panel. We're going to watch it. I said this is going to be a long video. He is kissing her ass. Talk about how he want to help bring him down. They got to connect so they could do some stuff. And now, like I said in my last video, I love Tokyo Tony. She's very entertaining. She does have a huge platform. People are probably dropping like flies watching her because sometimes her stuff is ranting and raving about irrelevant shit. And as I show you guys these panels... You'll see how disorganized they are. When you are talking about a situation like this, you do not do it in a live panel with thousands of people watching and commenting all different type of comments. Because there were several moments where a lot of people were distracted by the comments and not really focused on the situation. So, we know who this guy Ryan LaForge is. That was, that was the reason for me bringing him in, right? We know what he does on YouTube. Now, in my video, 
okay? Yesterday, I talked about this guy, King World, the king of content, right? And I gave him a credit because I grabbed a video from his page, which is a very hard video to watch, which is the video that originally got me interested in talking about this situation. When I was in the, um, the, the live yesterday, and this gentleman was also on the panel with, and we're going to go to it, okay? We're going to go to it. This is the lady, when I went to this lady here, Divine Eye, I also talked about her in the last video. She blocked me, and all I try to do is ask a question, and I'm going to tell you why these people are doing this. Okay, let's go to that panel. Here we go right here. Okay. I, I'm hoping that she caught the whole thing. Let me see how long this is. An hour and 49 minutes. Yes. Now. It's the shit. Listen. Listen, guys. Oh, my God. This this, this really, it, it really irks my mind. It baffles me. That these people with these large platforms are doing this type of foolery when it deals with a fucking topic like this. This is hard. It's hard because it's in our own communities. Once again, guys, this is an awareness educational video. Now, she started her panel. She was blocked. Three times in one night, okay? Because as you can see, all these people, we're going to go into it. This was so dysfunctional. You cannot do stuff like this on a live place, a live platform, especially when you know that this gentleman, Nature Boy, has a following, Okay, all these this is gonna distract from the situation. Now look how chaotic this shit is. Around her. Now when you get too close to her, she's gone. But she has no life. She needs everything around her to help her. She might got the big stinger, but that's only at the end when I'm battling. We're not gonna go in yeah. a lot of stuff she talked so, about don't make no sense. We really got to get to that as far as world news This right here is a um, trans woman, right? And she is speaking on this guy. The re this is why we we I, this is why we're talking about it. I, I took it down. She's speaking about the gentleman, the gentleman King World. Okay, who I told you guys yesterday has been reporting this situation for three years. You guys see the wrong guy Ryan DX. Okay. This guy, King World, from my understanding and what, the research that I did, he was he has been diving into this situation. Now, a lot of the stuff that these women were talking about on this panel made a lot of sense. Okay? Because I'm wondering, how did this gentleman explode on social media? How to, and if this guy has been trying to take him down for three years, all he did was grow this man's fame and pop, popularity online. Now, this is why I say my, my mind goes into conspiracy, right? Because when the government brought out the crack into the society, right? The government needed henchmen to carry out this job. And you guys can read about it. I'm not making shit up. The CIA was involved in this shit. The CIA was out there poaching people to get this crack onto the streets so they could get this money to fund this overseas war. Okay? Please listen to what I'm telling you guys. So I would not doubt the government sending in henchmen to boost this situation higher in order to infect a certain population. 
Please listen. Wake the fuck up. Okay? We live in it right now in a very cruel and awful world. Cruel is not even the word. It's disgusting out here on these streets. Who you can meet. And you can meet anybody. The social media shit it has boomed and exploded because of this whole COVID-19 quarantine lockdown shit. Everybody is now on social media. Our children, young ones are on social media. Not only that, they watching YouTube. Guys, they're watching YouTube. And YouTube is, I'm on here, right? I have my channel. But there are certain channels on YouTube that are mind manipulation to children. And I talked about it on Facebook. So, look how chaotic this is. But listen, please listen to what is going on. Concern in myself because I world I warn world news. I'm not nature boy and I'm not no cisgender woman. You keep calling me a tranny and keep calling me a nigga. Bitch, you need to act like you remember you know what I used to be and stop fucking with me before I fuck you up. I was very clear about that from the jump. Was I not master pussy? Yes, he was. He um he came to my panel when I was doing an interview with you. And um, he came through because um, you were talking about how some, you know, social media um, journalist was attacking you. Yeah. And I was asking you, like, you know, why were who was attacking you? I had no clue that World News was one of the people. So, you know, you were talking about that situation and you were expressing your frustrations mm -hmm. about, you know, how he um, posted you on his YouTube and all that different stuff. And did he um, and watch this Tokyo? After I checked that bitch ass nigga, he apologized the first time. Right or wrong, Master Pussy. Yeah, you showed the receipts. Yep. All right then. And then right afterwards he turned around and did the same thing. Really quickly, really quickly, based on that. Give me a second to say this really quickly, Queen. Hold on. Listen, let me tell y'all something. This young lady right here, okay. I don't know what her involvement was with King World, right? The guy that I took the video and I and I gave him his shout out. But the video that we played, okay, you guys remember the video that we played where he was sitting in the live. Let me pull it up. So I'm not gonna play it, but just so I can show you guys what video I was talking about. It's shit is too much. Boy bye. I'm not even following him no more, so I have to go to the video. Um let me go to the video. Hold on one second, guys. Right here. Right here. Okay. But was that the one? Yeah, I believe that was the one. Hold on. Let me go into his into his fold. His I, I stopped following him. There's a reason for that, guys. Right here. This right here. Okay. When we went into this video, and remember when we went into this video in the very beginning, okay. And what? Well, okay, this is the roll session. It wasn't this video, but remember in that video, it was this girl here. He was in the panel, and there was some other people, right? And when I went into, you know, when we was listening to it yesterday, right? He was talking about how there was a woman on Beagle Live scamming people out of money because they was claiming to be the family member of the young lady that was sick in the hospital dying, right? This is the young lady that they're claiming was acting as a fake nurse slash AK cousin to the girl that was dying in the hospital. Now, this young lady started a panel, her own panel later on. Okay, it's not really too relevant to the situation right now, but she started a panel later on and I went in there and I'm like, once again, hiding in the bushes. And she started crying and everything, talking about her past experience being a victim of child molestation, okay? And it was deep. She cried and everything. And she talked about it because she felt like this guy, King World, was victim shaming her on social media by spreading pictures of her, naked pictures of her online. Supposedly she is a uh what you call her the um oh god the girls <laughs> lord brain fart <laughs> um 
you know, the girls that be doing the modeling and stuff like that on Camden and stuff like that. Well, she's one of them. And he basically, I guess, got her picture some type of way. We're going to go into it and I'm going to let her speak. But this is how chaotic this situation was that this gentleman here even came in. This gentleman here, when I was on Beagle Live, he jumped into some of my panels. Because when you click on local, he's in Las Vegas. And being that mine was in Las Vegas, he came into some of... So I know who this guy is. I have not been on Beagle a very long time. But this guy would come in and he would politic with us. Okay, like I would say, I would start these panels to talk about business, education, current events, things around the world. This was way before this whole Nature Boy thing started happening on Beagle Live. Okay, let me play it. This is not a distraction. This is taking out two predatory ass sociopathic personality time. disorder motherfucking predator. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's killing two birds with one stone. So if we don't take down Nature Boy, we need to take down World News predatory ass as well. So stop going in the fucking comments telling people it's a distraction. Bitch, we spreading awareness. We spreading awareness because women need to know. Guess what? Need to know. It's these type of niggas that's out here. Block and crush. Anybody says anything negative? Like focus, that, um, focus there. Can you come up on the panel? I mean, and furthermore, you guys are talking about distracting with all due respect. Correct me if I'm wrong, Master Pussy. I was minding my own business, Miss uh, Tony. He decided to come through and record my live. He decided to break into my personal Facebook. He decided to include my celebrity client, T.S. Madison. You can go and, and, Madison, and, Madison, and Madison is one of your friends, Miss Tony. You can go on YouTube right now and see that he included my client, Madison, in his motherfucking video trying to cop check. Idiot. <coughs> you gagging? God damn, it's worse than you got it? No, no, we didn't try to tell Ryan. Ryan I knew. That, I'm not going to put Ryan in it because I'm going to respect Toki's platform and she and, and, I, and I see she fuck with him. But let me tell you something. We did not warn Ryan. Ryan but no shade. He up here, so he's putting himself no in it. Shade. I was one of the first people to warn uh -huh. Ryan and let Ryan know ahead of time, okay? So Ryan already knew who World News the fuck was. And I understand why Ryan he I, I understand why Ryan is getting caught up in this shit. And and, and I kind of feel bad for him in a sense, but at the same time, you gotta learn your lesson. Because I told you you knew, you knew how he treated you when you came to his platform. Okay? And he came back you he came back to your platform. You should have known this was not a person that you should have got involved with. Everyone was telling you the same exact thing. How can one predator come and try to take down another predator? Right. That's confusing. And what she means by that is because they start getting into the situation as to if King World, which makes a lot of sense, if King World has been trying to bring this guy down for three years and he has all this evidence that some stuff is not even on YouTube, okay, that supposedly he's reached out to the FBI with this evidence and stuff like that. Supposedly he has talked to ex-Carbon members. Why is this man still on the streets? Okay, and so it makes me think that King World is just a prop. Okay, listen to what I'm saying, guys. King World is a prop to elevate the whole Nature Boy platform, the whole Carbon Nation platform. Okay, you have to think of it psychologically. You take one person. They're spewing all this negativity about this person. And what he's doing is he's driving traffic to this platform. And then people get to this platform from the traffic that this one gentleman is taking and throwing that way. And now these people are being lured into an illusion. Because once they start diving into this other gentleman, Nature Boy, Coat Boy platform, they start seeing things that they may be interested in because they are so narrow-minded. And this is where the 
mind manipulation and recruitment of our young people takes place because there's one person driving the traffic there. Okay, and that's it makes sense. They're not saying it correctly, right? They they're using one pedophile, but it makes psychologically, guys. I, I Lord, I got chills talking about it, guys. Psychologically, it makes sense. You have one person that is the mole, okay, that's supposedly trying to infiltrate this cult. But what he's doing is he's driving the traffic to the cult. Right. Because I knew that he was doing, I already, the way that he talked to me. And, and let me say something. Let me just finish my statement. The fact that World News made that threat, that he was going to expose my news to Tommy Sotomayor, as you got the receipts in your inbox, Tokyo Tony, when this man never received not even one photo. Everyone knows who Tommy Sotomayor is. If you don't know who he is, please go Google it and get your information. But everybody should know who he is. Okay? And... One thing that Tommy Sotomayor is known for is womanizing online, shaming women online. Don't matter who you are. Go and do your research if you know who this guy is, okay? And I know who he is because he was on radio in New York City before he started going on platforms shaming women. Not a regular photo, not one nude of myself. Tell me how he has nudes of me to go and expose. Because he hacks women's phones. He gets them in compromising positions when he's talking to them via social media apps like Instagram Mr. or YouTube. Yo, you and he screens it for them without their consent. He's hung on them. He screens it for them without their consent, without their knowledge. That is a crime and it's a predator crime. It's called cyber sexual harassment. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I speak, please? Tokyo, Yum Candy is in the queue. She is the woman that Miss Nikki Devine and World News decided that they were going to pass around pictures of a woman's vagina, sexual um, pictures and videos saying that it was her. And Miss Nikki ask, Devine gonna, was the one that helped Miss World Nikki. News do that. You turn that you back, back up, Miss Tokyo, because you lagging again, Miss Tokyo. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this. The lady that she's talking about, Divine Eye, that you can see her in the comments, okay? Let me up. Let me up. This is the lady that I walked into the panel the first time that I said that when I went to ask a question regarding the situation and what they were really trying to do to bring this cult down, I was blocked immediately. I didn't even get to get my last thought out. I was blocked. All I said was maybe like three or four words and boop, blocked. Supposedly this lady Devon I, right here in the bubble, okay, is working with King World News to bring Carbonation and this cult leader down. However, this is one thing I got to say about this lady here. She had a panel up that I got blocked from. But before I got blocked, like I said, I was sitting in the bushes before I even tried to say anything. And I saw how two young ladies came onto the panel. And instead of, like you say, you spreading awareness, right, about the situation to young women that are being lured into this situation. Instead, what she did was she mockingly made fun of them and threw them off the panel. And I wanted to make a point about that when I tried to ask my question and was immediately blocked. Okay? So at this point, this lady here, I have no beliefs in her, whatever it is that she's talking about. But we're going to go ahead and listen to her because you're going to see how disgusting it is that these grown ass people and I'm going to say grown ass people because this lady looks like she's in her 40s or 50s. Probably later than that. 
And you're using a platform like Beagle Live to collect money to talk about a situation that you really don't care about. All you're doing it for is for the little cash that you can get out of it. Okay? Number seven. Miss Tokyo, you lagging again. Number seven. Thank you, everybody, for the gift. Thank yeah. you, y'all. I'm not even... You are a messy person. You're not a journalist. A journalist is there to report the news and not insert their own personal opinion, which is the opposite of what you do. So that means that your content is counterproductive and is actually more harmful oh, than shit. Number three. Tokyo, can you please add Young Candy? Please. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to... decided to send pictures of myself. So you see this here that this girl is showing? This was the, um, uh, I guess, a defamation lawsuit that was being put against the guy World News. Look at this here. World News approached me and offered me $1,000 to join his team. I don't know if I want to do it now. The hell does that mean? Do you understand what I'm trying? What does that mean? Okay, he did oh, not have this person named Nikki Devine who's in the comments trying to bring her ass up here. This big thing uh, 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 this big thing trying on. to bring her ass up here to deflect for world news because she's a miserable old ass <laughs> and a jackal face for talking over anybody. Um I have two experiences with both of these people we're speaking of, one with world news, one with nature boy. World news from what I knew uh, when I first met this person, I thought that he was somebody who was a, a, a nature boy uh, opposer, somebody who, who was on our side of the fence. Um, throughout my experience, I realized that he was in it for a check because he started to bash my name. The more that I started to uh, go against nature boy, the more I started to wake up the issue because I did have a platform here that was slightly larger than his. And he didn't like that I was... Um, opening up my platform to the nature boy issue so he started to come at my name and say things about me personally he said things about me on his channel i don't i'm not going to choose to wake that up because i choose not to give energy to those sorts of things but it did happen and um the things that i'm hearing Bay Shade say the things that i've heard master p say the things that i've heard kiss say from my perspective and i have you know this is my whole career this is my only bag this is what i use to feed my family and pay my rent so i have a lot writing on what i say on these panels and from what i know Everything they said is true. I haven't seen, heard a single lie from what these women are saying. I know there's not a lot of receipts. Put. I know there's not a lot of receipts we can put on camera because a lot of things these people are doing and saying are are not for the camera. Um, they're very like terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible things. It's just one of the worst things you can possibly have from so a let man. Me, let me tell you guys something. This is the saddest thing right here. People are coming at him saying that he's lying. How do they know who, what his experience was with these people? Do you understand what I'm saying? How do you know that he's lying about the situation? Because I know I politic with this guy on Beagle Live. And he has brought real insight to conversations that we had dialect that we have had on this platform. Way before all these people started coming on here with this whole Nature Boy. Before even Nature Boy was even heard of on Beagle Live. Okay. I was on here politicking. And this is what it has turned into. A recruitment of vultures, okay, that are recruiting these victims, because that's what it is, to line their pockets, financial gain. Not only that, but to spread this disease, horrible mental and sexual disease around the community. Guys, why is it that he's away with so long? My personal opinion on the reason why he hasn't gotten away. Right. My personal opinion on that subject is because right now I believe that uh, this Nature Boy character, he has, he has uh, enough of a handle on our black and brown culture that the higher ups that are allowing him to do so will allow him to do so until he becomes useless. 
So until he becomes somebody who starts to affect the status quo, I don't think anyone's going to step in. Exactly. Do you hear what this gentleman just said? The only one on this panel that makes a lot of sense. Okay? The, nobody is paying attention unless it happens to you and your family member and your friend and your loved one and your child okay no one is paying attention and just like he said this is happening in black and brown communities because he they took they snatched the white people out okay we already told you they snatched the white he has no longer no white members in his cult all the members are african-american from some part of the United States. Because they all come from the United States. And they're going out to these different countries. Sleeping with God knows who. Talking to God knows who. Infected them like I said. With this mental and sexual disease. It's sad. Now this guy. This girl here. We don't really want to say too much. When I'm not going to give her too much airway on my video because this this girl here is not really reliable. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I've seen certain uh, YouTube channels that are showing, that's showing her going to this cult member's platform, interacting with this cult member's platform, and being messy. Okay. Talking about she knows this gentleman's life and all this, and then she switches it up. She talks about, oh, no, I ain't really meet him or nothing like that. We don't know what her intentions on this panel are. So we're going to move it along because her story is irrelevant. When I watch it, I'm like, oh, her story is irrelevant. So now they bring on this lady, Divine. And then the next person can go. Like that. Okay, but address that person's name, whether they're on the panel or not. And once you say something briefly, give them a chance. All right, number seven, go ahead. Number okay, my question to Nikki, right? Now, <laughs> my question to Nikki. You got you claim someone who I don't even know. Now we was on the panel together a whole month ago, right? And I said directly to you, I said directly to you, I said, you're long-winded, you take forever getting to the point, stating the obvious, and you're annoying. I said that to you, did I not? Okay, like I said, her story here is irrelevant. I'm trying to hear it. Where, where's the receipts? Where are the receipts? Where are the receipts? Where are the receipts? Balled up, nasty, pussy, having ass. Okay, once again... This is what I'm talking about. These are not the way to conduct interviews, okay? Because it is going everywhere. Like I just said, the only person on here that's focused is the guy named Focus. <laughs> that is it. He's the only one focused on the real objective. Everybody else is going elsewhere with it. I'm not even going to play the rest of this live. But what happens is this lady here, this lady here, and this lady here start arguing with this lady here. This is the lady I told you guys blocked me off the thing because I tried to ask a real question. Now, they're going back and forth because supposedly there's a missing baby that was born in the jungles over there with this coat. They're going back and forth stating that, oh, the baby never died. The baby did die. They try to cover it up and all this other stuff. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, guys. These are some serious issues that's going on. Okay, here we go. This was the last live. Well, let me see what this is here. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Because she, I'm telling you, she was blocked three times. She had to restart the lives. Okay, and like I said, listen. This motherfucking throat when I catch this nigga. If I ever see this nigga. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna let him know what the fuck a real man feel like. You wanna know what a nigga the guy king world. <coughs> because in that last live with all these girls, they all started saying how the guy king world was coming at them by exposing naked pictures of them online, okay? And saying that they were this and they were that um, because these girls just started retaliating against Nature Boy. Now, if you all are trying to work together to expose a cult leader, pedophile, killer, murderer, psycho person, narcissist, why is he exposing these young ladies sexually online? That is my question. Okay. So she is now upset because she's like, I'm hearing this guy telling me all this stuff about these situations, but yet he's not being honest about the situation. Now, it's a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, um, let me go over here to um, S.L. Davis. Now, S.L. Davis, she is just a commentator, all right? But she provides a lot of good content because, let me see, did she post it? Did she post it? I was trying to see if she posted this video. No, I don't see it up here, okay? But there was a video of... Um, she didn't post it, but there was a video of, um, Tokyo, right? Speaking to world and, and matter of fact, I need to find, let me find the video cause it's very relevant. It is very relevant to the topic right now that we're talking about. So I have to get this video guys. Give me one second. I am going to pull it up. And then we're going to tear it go right here. There's other people behind the scenes. Now, as you can see, the guy King World is in Tokyo's panel. And you can see Ryan is in the panel as well. I don't know. I thought I at first, you see, I was watching it on my TV. So <laughs> at first I thought this was Jaguar right. So it's just somebody totally different. But the main people that we need to focus on is Tokyo, Ryan D, and King World. Listen to what this gentleman has to say, okay? Because it's confusing to me that he has all of this information, okay? And this man, Nature Boy, is still roaming the streets. Right now, he's at Lakeview Mountain Inn in UTI. I don't know if it's a UTI. They're paying two sixty nine a night. So it's like 9000 a month because he makes twenty grand off Beagle a month. What? Yeah. $20,000. Wait a that's, that's, He's that's making good. Make good. Yeah. I, I, I believe I wanted to rent the same place, 9000 something with after tax. Oh, 10000 How you doing, Tokyo? 269 a night. Hi, world. So, so listen to this. So the people that are paying him on Bigo are his fans. He has fans that's sadistic enough to pay him Yes. To keep floating to hurt these people. Yes. Who was yes. that? I had an ex, Who was that lady named? An ex Oprah? member was in my house. I flew her here. They're so brainwashed. A uh, star. I flew her to my here yeah, to try to bring. And I had the news lined up. She she backed out last second. Okay. Remember, this is what he was telling this guy here. Um. So he flew the girl out, and then she backed out in the last minute. Okay. I don't know who the girl is. I ain't going to all that. They might go into it now. But I really want to get to what he has to say. Because what he has to say is, is weird. But when I talk about this is being used as a commodity now to recruit people into this cult and all of that. And now they're making money off of it. It is crazy. So we're going to jump into him a little bit. Gotta stand behind what you're saying. 
Oh yeah, we've been standing behind it. Like we've been putting in work like for a minute now. It's a lot of people, you know, who are, like newer to the scene, but as far as reporting on this dude, I've been doing this for like going on three and a half years with everything that's going to news news station and talk I to them. I am the news station. That's why I bring forth awareness. You see what he said? She just asked him, have you gone to a news station with this information? He's talking about he is the news. This is where people are getting shit twisted. And this is why I'm thinking that this guy is in cahoots with this whole situation. Boy, bye. the rabbit hole goes deep. Okay? And he's getting paid in some type of way. Now he got Tokyo Tony who has a platform. Okay, and Jaguar Wright, who's not on here right now, she, Jaguar Wright is probably not going to give too much attention to this, but Tokyo Tony, she got the time. So, now he's pulling her into this nonsense, okay, and it's probably to get this guy Nature Boy more fame, more popularity, probably even get him his own TV show, okay, you guys see where I'm going with this? This guy here is the ultimate recruiter. For these type of individuals that's out here, especially when we start talking about sex magic and these type of sex magicians like Nature Boy, as well as the definitive words that he already done had spells attached to the words. See, this is the mantra that the mass majority of these people are up under. That's why it don't matter on whether or not if they're away from him or not, they deal within the code. He got them tied to the coat. Like, this is deeper than, you know what I'm saying, the other coats that you don't, you know, seen on these different documentaries because the right. only coat that's online. If the only coat that's online. And just like what Ryan was saying in reference to uh, Mama Dia and the death of Mama Dia, we talking about an individual once that this lady had passed, this dude had a death certificate. This dude uh, allowed for two members within the cult to move the lady to the deceased body. Uh, He's talking about the 60-year-old woman that I was telling you guys about that died in one of the tents in the, in the jungle. She had a heart attack, okay, and she died. This is what he's talking about. He's talking about how the guy Nature Boy was able to obtain the death certificate and the paperwork in order to claim money for this lady. It was a lot of crazy stuff. He didn't even help to get the lady's body transported from Mexico back to her country of descent, Honduras, as well. Her he family. said, on my platform. <laughs> Excuse me? He said, remember he said he got her, he sent her bodies back to Honduras? He said he did. Yeah, he a lie. I can show you the, I can show you the whole lie GoFundMe that was started and the people who actually donated money, which was only $5,000. They didn't even get $5,000. It was only like $1,600 that they raised. He's a liar. He's a coward. And he'll continue to do this online unless that there's an even greater heightened awareness of on what he's doing. Right. As far as the receipts, uh, the other day when you were speaking to the guy, you know, Shaka that was up there, his wife, Azim, there's a lot of other things that were spoken on, you know, with these SBA loans, these PP loans, and how did they get them? What Ryan was showing you earlier? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all of this is on my platform all of it e e every all of this okay and when i say by ryan coming out you see what he's saying all of this is on my platform he's building traffic okay around the story it's on your platform but why isn't it at the local authorities desk you know saying like he's saying he ain't going to the news outlet because he is the news outlet I'm going to tag way more people in this video and the last video again. I'm going to go ahead and reshare it and tag a whole lot of people in that. Because this is sickening. This guy here, even though he's saying he bashing him, right? But what did I say psychologically? You got to use negativity in order to make a uh, story explode in such a way where the negative person is the one that's really benefiting from this situation. 
Now, remember the guy Shaka and his wife, they were on there talking about the drinking of the semen and all of that, and how the guy talked about he brought in $30,000 to the organization and he was there as a, pit, a business partnership, right? Well, supposedly that's where they be getting this money from. Now that you got the whole COVID thing, they were some of the first ones to apply for the SBA and the PPP loans and get all this money for these people having them like as if they were employees as if this is a real business this is what i'm saying not only is our own people lying in his pockets the government is lying in his pockets this is getting out of hand okay because you're taking money from real businesses real people that's doing real things out here in, this, in these communities to give it to somebody that's harming people's lives out here you know what i'm saying and continuing to correlate this message this one is doing that but heightening the awareness man people need to notice like these members that's within the cult he's getting them to come over there he getting a social security number and the whole damn nine he put the, they doing these SBA loans, and this is how this guy's able to move from Airbnb to Airbnb. And the addresses, what Ryan was talking about, the few that he had looked up, these addresses are attached to a long paper trail, Tony. Wow. Sure. Do you see how deep the rabbit hole goes? But I'm pretty sure this guy's getting paid for it, too. So. This is not to bash anybody, but this is just you trying to bring awareness, right? All right, well, I'm trying to bring awareness as well. How everybody lying in their pockets behind this story, but nobody really doing the true work behind bringing this gentleman down. At the end of the day, this, is for, this question is for World and Ryan. What do you, I mean, let's, let's use the crystal ball in our head. What do you think will be the end result of this guy getting caught what what is the thing if he's been chased down by the fbi and been locked up and getting out what is it gonna what is it gonna take him running up against the law and doing a suicide shooting or something i mean what's going on because he seems like he's the the what's the dude like charles manson of this shit meaning get everybody else to do shit but i'm gonna sit back i'm gonna let y'all get fucked up so at the end do you hear her listen tony be speak this is why i watch her sometimes not all the time because i don't agree with a lot of the shit that she say but sometimes she really be making a lot of fucking sense listen to what she's saying i'm gonna rewind that shit what is it gonna what is it gonna take him running up against the law and doing a suicide shooting or something i mean what's going on because he seems like he's the the, what's the dude, like Charles Manson of this shit, meaning get everybody else to do shit, but I'm going to sit back. I'm gonna... Exactly. He is, he has all of these puppets. One. Okay. Two. The other chick, Divine. Three. These people are not cult members. Okay. They're supposedly trying to bring this man down. But like he said, she said, he's like a Charles Manson where you got all these other entities that's driving traffic. They're driving traffic to this bullshit. Okay, and this is why this man is still finessing the way he is online, on social media, on the platforms that you and I use daily. Bitch, I get fucked up. But at the end, I ain't make nobody do nothing. I mean, what, what, how is he going to get stuck? Well, what, the thing you got to understand yeah. is that this guy, Nature Boy, actually went to an insane asylum in Virginia. He was released from the insane asylum. I don't know if you heard about the guy whose name DJ Pope that was in South Carolina, the dude that infected over 300 black women with HIV. Okay, this was around the same time. There's a guy I want you to look up whose name is Dean Willoughby. Dean Willoughby was the fake doctor that was in cahoots with DJ Pope. And this is... Check it, guys. That's what I was looking for. Dean Willoughby. Let's look him up now. Okay? We 
you can see if somebody got something on YouTube. Dean, oops, Dean Willoughby. I will hope that's how you spell his name or something like that. A $50 prostate exam. Okay, that's the guy he's talking about. Okay. I, I, I wanted to get to an actual video. TK Capone. Oh, hold on a second, guys. Hello. Yeah, I'm doing a, a video right now. I'm going to have to call you back. Um, sorry about that, guys. Okay. Lord, help me, Jesus. Let's go in here real quick. Okay. Um, I'm like, I'm like, so. What you talking to, bitch? Fuck y'all whores. You see these whores in the room over here trying to talk shit to me? You can't talk shit to a real nigga. Huh? Okay, I don't because he's so obnoxious. Like you know, if you guys don't understand. I hardly ever want to even see any of this stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and Google it. Dean will it be Nature Boy? Here we go. Okay, and oh Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> I'm talking about the long way. Now okay, so we want to just get into the nitty gritty. We've been knew what was going on. We've been knew you was on some kind of intoxicant, some type of hallucinogen on that motherfucking bag, on them shroom, on that rock. We knew you was on some club. Look at him. club for say he a real right. He's okay. Here you go. I, I that's what it is. I probably spelled the name wrong. I don't know where he got this. Oh, why are you calling me back? Hello. Hello? What's up, Willie? I didn't I just tell you I was doing a video. <laughs> uh -huh. I just said I'm doing a video, I'll call you back. Uh, all right. All right. Oh, Lord help me, Jesus. Okay. Let's go back to uh Google. Okay. Um, Dean Allen Willoughby. Okay, this might be the guy. Because they did say he was really old. Man posing as Dr. Clinton. Okay, look at this. Okay, here we go. Now. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm skim reading, guys, and I'm already, I'm already freaked out. Okay. This guy, he was even supposedly tested for sexual. It all took about 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, I hate when my computer starts stalling. That's what I mean about this situation here. Now, this is really scary, okay? I guess this is the guy. Uh, Shovel 17 along with other, other youngsters. Let's see, let's see this here. Okay, this is something else. Now, I was trying to find this, right, because it's very important. The reason why it's very important, because, okay, this is the guy, okay? The reason why this is very important is because this man supposedly posed as a doctor practicing medicine without a license, sexual abuse, and other charges, okay? The reason why this is important, guys, because it is said that not only did Nature Boy have a sexual encounter with this gentleman, but that he had also infected Nature Boy with something that he was supposed to turn around and infect other people with. Okay? Now, see... This guy has up here, but what, what I hate about this situation is the fact that, um, 
he does too much talking about this. I just want to get to the point. Oh, the man he was working on on a University of Louisville research study on prostrate. God told my look here, man. He was even trying. Hey, he getting up in the dookie shoot. Either a hey, it didn't. He seems like, you know, he's the type of guy that wants to create experiments and watches them, you know, mm. you know, like, man, like, want to watch him. I so for me, like, feel like, we are stuck in the middle of an occult experiment and people literally oh. sit in a room and watch Nature Boy and what he does and how he acts. Exactly. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. The guy, Nature Boy. Is look now, at his head, his, his face, his body, <laughs> and I look at him now. Completely hormonal changes. He looks like he belongs in the movie Hostel. Like, he's one of the characters that would come out to torture the people. <laughs> and I'm with you. He does. He keeps souvenirs. How many times have <laughs> you heard stories about women going to sperm banks? There was a recent story in 2019. Women going to the sperm bank and a lot of these children were finding out that, you know, they would get sick and things of that nature go to the doctor. Well, the father wasn't their father. Marriages were breaking up. People getting divorced. Well, the doctor at the mm. sperm bank was injecting his sperm into the women. Had ended up having 21 children. Okay. We're not going into all that. But do you guys see why this is a huge piece of this story? Okay. Because if it is true, do you guys see that guy Nature Boy was very young at that time? This is the guy, Dean Allen Willoughby. Okay. And if it is true that this guy Nature Boy went to this gentleman's practice, Okay, I guess for a prostate exam, that's what they're saying. He went for a prostate exam, paid him $50, whatever. But there's a video floating around, guys, and I have to dig and try to find the video because in the video, they're saying that it shows him injecting this gentleman with something. What did he inject him with? That now that this man is infecting people. Remember we talked about it. That the mother was saying that the daughter went to the CDC. And the CDC didn't even know what the thing was. Do you guys not see the huge picture here? There's a huge health concern behind this. These people dropped out. They're no longer with the cult. Now there is only black and brown people at these communities. Even Spanish people because he has a Puerto Rican recruit now from Puerto Rico. They're in Puerto Rico. How many people in Puerto Rico are going to join this cult and be sick and go back to Puerto Rico and start infecting other people? You guys need to wake up. Okay, this is really sad. And I feel like these are covert operatives. That's what you call them. Covert operatives to keep this operation alive. I'm really upset behind this. Because the deeper and deeper that I dive into it, I'm seeing more and more of the genocide happening, about to happen in our country. Behind this one gentleman that may have been infected by another covert operative, right? Pretending to be a medical doctor. They had to bring him down and boy, bye. I could have sworn I seen an obituary. What was the guy's name? Willoughby? <laughs> Lord help me, Jesus. Alan Willow, I already done forgot. I already done forgot the guy's name. Okay, I'm trying to forget this whole bad experience that I'm going through right now with this bullshit. I said, like, this is crazy. Okay, this is crazy. And what happened to all these people? Where are they? So. Share this, guys. Share this. 
I'm going to come back and do a third video about it. Because now I'm about to start on my awareness campaign regarding this situation and how it is affecting our community and nobody seems to care. And that's sad. That is really sad. Unless it happens to you or your family member, you don't care. But do you know how close to home it is? Oh, it's right in your backyard. This is the new wave cult on social media. On social media. This is the new wave, guys. Covert operatives. Driving traffic. For financial gain. Bringing in people with platforms. For financial gain. Okay. This is so much information for Tokyo. I'm pretty sure she's like, damn, I don't know how to ingest all of it all. Because all these people are coming to me with all these different stories. Do you see how the confusion can take place and how they, then that's where the distraction comes in? Please wake up. Please wake up. This is completely unedited. I am going to end this video and I am going to upload it. Below there is a change.org petition. Please sign the petition. It is important that this petition starts circulating all over social media. Because I only see one petition up there on change.org regarding the situation. But everybody's trying to do something, right? Get the real people involved to listen. Because if you start making this noise around the real people, like the FBI, the CDC, the United States president, then if they don't do anything, then you know, yeah, this is a huge conspiracy here. Something going on. Something further and deeper than these people is going on. One thing this gentleman said that made a lot of sense is that when they don't need you no more, they going to move on to the next person that they going to train and recruit to be into, these, into this thing so they can once again slow the decline in population or kill off a certain section of our population. Humanitarian issue. This is... A humanitarian issue. A war crime on humanity. It's saddening to see it all unfold on social media. And these people are just clowning about it. Arguing about it. Who's right? Who's wrong? Who's this? Who's that? But no one is coming together to rise and really do something about this problem. This is a problem. I'm going to end this video with that said. Subscribe if you want to. Just subscribe. At this point, it don't even matter. Okay, I'm going to just talk about it. Give me a like. Give me a dislike. It helps the algorithm. It helps spread this video so that more people can be aware of what's going on. Okay? I don't know any of these people. I have no connection to any of these people at all. None whatsoever. But my concern is the fact that it's hitting too close to home. Yeah, I want to say something. Comment below if you have a question or if you have any information to add to this situation. Okay? And share it. Share this video because it's important for people to be aware of what is going on on social media. You may be interacting with these people on your own private Facebook group that you, you just joined, thinking that you're joining this Facebook group for some great content, some educational content, and you end up getting lured into this bullshit. Please pay attention, people, and wake up. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.